Pinch Siddhartha renounced the material world in search of enlightenment at the age of 29 years. He left the capital city of Kapilvastu and finally reached the town of Uruvela. Siddhartha attained supreme enlightenment under the Bodhi tree at the age of 35 years on the full moon night of Vaishak month and became Buddha, the awakened one. The town of Uruvela is now known as Bodhgaya and it has remained one of the most important pilgrimage sites for Buddhists across the world for more than 2000 years. Mahabodhi temple marks the place where Buddha attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree. During the period immediately after the Parinirvana Buddha, the Bodhi tree was the object of worship and it was marked by a tree shrine called the Bodhi Ghara or the abode of the Bodhi tree. The earliest known monument at the temple complex belongs to the 3rd century BC. This is the stone Vajrasan or the diamond throne which was placed under the Bodhi tree by King Ashoka to mark the site of Buddha's enlightenment. Ashoka also built the first temple in Bodhgaya during the 3rd century BC. This was an open pillar shrine for the Bodhi tree. The second phase of construction was carried out during the 1st century BC when the temple was renovated and beautifully carved railings around the temple were erected. The temple was further enlarged during the 3rd century AD in the period of Kushan king Huvishka. The structure changed from a pillared shrine to a pyramidical temple. The object of worship at the temple also changed from the Bodhi tree to the diamond throne. The temple was now known as the Vajrasan Kandhkuti or perfume temple enshrining the diamond throne. The present temple was constructed during the Gupta period in the 6th century. The height of the temple is over 55 meters and is an example of Magadha architecture. The temple was called the Bodhi Manda. Monks from Sri Lanka settled at Bodhya during the 6th century and they contributed to the modifications and further development of the temple. During the 8th century, the Mahabodhi temple complex experienced its last phase of development. Buddhist Pal dynasty ruled over a large part of eastern India between the 8th to 12th centuries. The temple witnessed large-scale renovation and construction of monasteries during this period. Bodhgaya entered a period of decline after the end of the Pal dynasty. The temple was attacked and sacked by the Turk army commander Bakhtiar Khilji in the 12th century. This attack followed his destruction of the ancient universities of Nalanda and Udandapuri. The monks came under continuous attacks and many fled to Nepal, Tibet and China. Several converted to Islam. The Islamic invasions removed the Buddhist kings, which also meant that the temple lost major financial support. Another indirect impact was the construction of replicas of the Mahabodhi temple all around Buddhist Asia after the 12th century. The attacks by the Turk army in the Magadh region affected the movement of monks and pilgrims. The pilgrimage to Bodhgaya became difficult and risky. Further, the Mahabodhi temple was not well maintained because of the lack of financial resources. This may have led to the construction of replicas in different countries which might also have helped to replicate the experience of Mahabodhi temple when access to the original site was difficult. Dharmasumin, a Tibetan monk, visited Bodhgaya in 1234 AD and he gave a detailed account of the condition of the temple. He found only four monks residing at the Bodhgaya monastery while most of the monks have already fled. Shanzang reported more than 1,000 monks in Bodhgaya during his visit in the 7th century. The temple had suffered heavy destruction during the Turk invasions and needed significant repairs and renovation. The residents of Bodhgaya did not have the needed resources and so the king of Myanmar sent a team for the repair work. The work of renovation was completed in the year 1305. The bad phase of the temple 
was not yet over. The last Buddhist abbot of the Mahabodhi temple was Sariputra, who left the temple and went to Nepal during the early 15th century. He finally reached China. He is credited for providing the design for the Zhenzhui temple, which itself is a replica of the Mahabodhi temple. The Mahabodhi temple was abandoned during the early 15th century and got into decay. Gradually, it was erased from the memory of local people. In 1590, a wandering Shaiva ascetic, Goshai Ghamandigiri, arrived at Bodhgaya and established a large monastery. He became the first Mahant of Bodhgaya in the long chain of Hindu heads of the Bodhgaya temple. Gradually, the Mahant extended his authority over other Buddhist monuments of Bodhgaya as well. This authority got supported by the royal decree of the Mughal emperor Shah Alam granting to the Mahant the village of Taradi which included the Mahabodhi temple and several other Buddhist monuments. The Mahabodhi temple was modified by the Mahant for the worship of Shiva. The large Buddha image from the sanctum of the temple was removed and replaced by a large shivling. The temple complex was also getting used for conducting the Srad rites by the Hindus, which are the rites for recently dead relatives and forefathers. The temple itself remained in a very bad condition. The British colonial government of India restored the temple to its present form in the 1880s under the direction of famous archaeologists Sir Alexander Cunningham and J.D. Pegler. During the end of the 19th century, the Buddhists started to raise their claim over their most important temple. Anagrik Dharmpal, a prominent Buddhist monk from Sri Lanka, visited the temple in 1891. He was horrified to see the decaying condition of the temple. He started a campaign for control of the Mahabodhi temple by the Buddhists and filed a case against the Mahansa Bodhgaya. Anagrik and Buddhist monks lost the case but they gained popular support from the common people of India. Mahatma Gandhi also came in support of the just cause of the Buddhist monks. A committee was set up to investigate the proposal of handing over the Mahabodhi temple to the Buddhists. The committee was headed by Dr. Rajendra Prasad, who later became the first president of independent India. Finally, Bodhgaya Temple Act was passed in 1949 by the Bihar Legislative Assembly of Independent India. The Act established a committee for the management and control of the temple, which has equal representation from Hindu and Buddhist communities. The Buddhists have continued the fight for complete control of the Mahabodhi temple. In 2002, UNESCO declared the Mahabodhi temple a World Heritage Site. The temple now houses a large image of Buddha in a touching posture. This 9th century black stone image was recovered from the compound of the Mahant in 1884. A 5th century beautifully carved stone gateway stands at the entrance of the Mahabodhi temple. The temple has now got renovated and has regained its lost glory. In 2013, the upper portion of the temple was covered with 289 kilograms of gold which was gifted to the temple by the king of Thailand. During the past decades, several important Buddhist temples and monasteries have been built by different Buddhist countries around the Mahabodhi temple complex. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. We are constantly coming out with new videos on the life of Buddha and the Buddhist heritage. If the information provided by the video was useful, please subscribe to the channel for similar informative videos on Buddhism. Please share your thoughts on the struggle by the Buddhists over their right in the Mahabodhi temple in the comment section below.